This is a box. This is my box, not your box. It's my box. It comes from a company called Soldered.com. It says so there. I genuinely don't know what's inside this box. I was asked to do a review on there. Is it called an ink pad or something like that? <laughs> that looks too big for this ink pad thing. Plus which there's something inside. Just a foreword. I mean they, they, they've sent me this to do a review on it and I've got other plans for it as well. I'm not paid to do this. I, I was thinking about doing a professional sort of a review and then I thought nah sorry I'll just do my usual cobbled together crap. <laughs> so in my box we have a bag. Is that a bag? I've got a bag, something in the bag. What's in the bag? A key ring. Stickers. Yes, no, no touching. <gasps> no touching, absolutely. A book. What's this? Wow, a project book. That's gonna come in handy, that is. Very handy. And a roller. I've got some rollers. I've got uh, some other ones made. Um, but they're not as thick as this. They're only very, very thin ones. Wow, with holes on it. <laughs> and a pen. And here we have a USB. What's that? That's for a display. That's an ESP32 dev board of some kind. I will have to have a look deeper into this, obviously I will. Um, I want a touch pad, a what's it pad, an input pad with LEDs and everything. And the display itself. This company are based in Croatia. Now these displays are made of recycled screens. The screens are taken from old e-book readers, so all the hard work's taken away from it. You don't have to do anything, obviously. You just plug it in, and everything of theirs is in pur purple. It's all developed in-house, all done by them. Is that? Yes, it's available. Well, like anti-static stickers. Look at that, eh? I can't remember what the resolution of this one is. It is quite a high resolution. And that's a nice quality. That's 3D printed. You know those problems you have when you buy something from China? You know they have to support... The, 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 you can never get hold of them. These people offer free aftermarket support and free support. They also offer free support if you don't even know what you want. So for me, with the projects that I do, sometimes I'm stuck and I'm thinking I don't know what sort of thing is suitable for whatever. All their products, they're actually crafted in-house and it's all open source. You've got hardware, software, open source, absolutely everything. The screens come in sizes from 2 inch to 10, I think it's 9.7 inch or something like that. Um, and there's a 2 inch and a 6 inch which are also in colour. And you can tell that it's their original proper work, all their development work, is because all the boards are in purple. I do like, I don't know why, but I do prefer purple boards. My BMS, when I finally get around to finishing it, that's going to be purple as well. So, good choice of colours. These displays are compatible with Arduino, MicroPython and ESP IDF, is it? So the, the, the cross compatibility is absolutely superb with absolutely everything. So they've done a really good job with this. Obviously it's ESP32 based, so anything you can do with an ESP, ESP32, you can do with this and then display it on the screen. So I'm going to plug it in and see what's what. I've taken it out of the case. This case, the print quality, it is 3D printed obviously, but the print quality is Probably the best I've ever seen for a 3D printer, FDM printer. Absolutely amazing. Here you've got all the parts that need to be supported and here there's actually a battery compartment. Because you have got the battery connector there. I've fitted a battery to it just to test it, make sure everything's okay and it's working. Uh, that one actually does fit in the case so I'm going to use it. This is the uh, basically the power board for the ink display or the e-paper display 
and you've got your various components, you've got a CP, I can't remember what it's called now, um, USB to serial converter there, SD card reader, ESP32 obviously, and a battery. I've put a CR2032 in there uh, to keep the backup uh, clock working. Just here you've got a battery connector. I've put this LiPo battery in there to test it really. It fits in the case, actually I might put it in the case. It does, it will fit there fine. Um, here you've got a switch for the power LED. And it's turned off, is it turned off at the minute? Obviously without the power LED on you can't tell. So if I turn that back on, and you can see it's switched off. And now it's on. Or you can turn that off. Save a bit more power. I've got the Lilligo display here that I've had for quite a while now that I did a 3D printed case for it. It was cheap and it was cheerful and it did the job apart from it hasn't got a touch screen on it or an SD card reader on it. Uh, this has got an SD card reader and it's got a touch screen as well. So I can expand my project massively with this thing. I have got a lot of potential things I'm going to do with this. Now the other thing with this, uh, it's got no backlight on it but that has. It's an e-ink paper with a backlight on it. I can't show, I can show you, no I can't show you, I can show, no I can't, I can't, I'll show you in a bit. This is higher resolution, obviously it's, it's bigger than this, but the Lilligo ones you're stuck with this size, it's a 5 inch, this is a 6 inch, but this has got a, a 540 by 960 is it? 540 by 960 I think that one is, and this one's 758 by 1024, so it is higher resolution. I do prefer that. Not because it was given to me free, this was given to me free as well, I didn't pay for it. This casing design is amazing because it just snaps together and it stays there. I wish I could design a case as good as that. I'm going to do some other things with it. Now also, they sent me this one which is the um, Dazu Dazuino. If you google Dazuino, it will come up with soldered.com. This is their... Um, does it does does do he know connect plus I'm going to use it when I get round to it to redo my media center or internet radio or whatever it is uh, I don't know what to do with the display stop 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 uh, bah, bah, bah. I'm gonna redo this with an ASP32 look at the wiring in that man. <laughs> <laughs> 